Good morning, FHS, and welcome to this week's edition of the Sabre Roar. I'm Tony. And I'm Caitlin. Hope you had a great Monday. Today we will be looking at Art Club, Palms, Girls Basketball, and Relay for Life. Students here at FHS have been working hard to further their artistic abilities during Art Club. Art Club is run by Miss Mercier, and every week for one semester, students come together to work on new projects and use their creativity. We do a lot of different projects, um, like we're doing printmaking, or we work with clay to make different plates or bowls. The club is a fun after-school activity that is enjoyed by all its members. The new space definitely helps too. It's a very nice experience. Our club is almost done this year, but sign up next year if you're interested. Recently, our state champion Palms team competed at regionals. A couple weeks ago, the Franklin Girls Palms team competed at regionals in the Palms and Jazz categories. Well, there's probably like 50 teams that go to regionals and only the ones who place move on to state. We practiced really hard almost every day last week. We had some late nights, but it was all worth it. I think regionals was some of our best performances. We worked really hard and we're really happy with how we did. The girls took first in both jazz and palms, which gives them an invitation to state. So now we move on to state, which is in lacrosse, and we go up against the teams that won their regionals in the other parts of the state. The girls have been practicing and working hard for state. Four hour practices almost every day this week, and we even have practice in Friday Resource, so I hope practice makes perfect. With more wins than losses, the girls varsity basketball team is giving other teams a run for their money. The girls' varsity basketball team has been excelling throughout the season. Head coach Tony Catherine continues to help the team play the best they can. They have to believe that they can do it, and I think in a, in a couple of situations this year, including the latest game against Oak Creek, um, I think the issue of confidence came to the forefront. They have to believe they can win a game, and they individually can be the ones to do it. This is a team that shoots free throws really well, but they really struggle making the simplest shots. They talk on defense better than any team I've coached. The bond that all of the players share also has a big impact on their successes. When it comes to being a team, I don't think I've coached a team at this high school that really, really wants to be together the way this group does. What I'm looking forward to is the development part, the part that we say at around game 10, this is where we are, and then they go a lot further than anybody expects and then you as a coach are very proud of their effort uh, as a team because it's all about them and I hope that that happens for them. Tonight at 5.30 the girls varsity has a game in Waterford so come support your Sabres. Even though you can sign up for Relay for Life anytime today and tomorrow during resource, Relay for Life will be hosting a registration event in the main commons area. Listen to what Jim Balbano said 21 years ago. The most poignant seven words ever uttered in any speech anywhere. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. I said, I'm not losing. I'm still here. I'm fighting. I'm not losing. But I got to amend that. When you die, it does not mean that you lose to cancer. You beat cancer by how you live, why you live, and in the manner in which you live. Live. Fight like hell. And when you get too tired to fight, then lay down and rest and let somebody else fight for you. That's also very, very important. I can't do this don't give up thing all by myself. This whole fight, this journey thing is not a solo venture. This is something that requires support. Your support can truly make a difference for anyone who's fighting the battle against cancer and hopefully one day we'll live in a world without cancer. This just in. Tomorrow the 18th is the second annual Mr. FHS pageant here at the Service Center. It starts at 7 p.m. Tickets are $3 per person. You can buy them from either the Roar store or you can buy them from the contestants. If you show up a little bit late, when the door is open, they're $4. And parents, they're $5. I'll see you inside.
If you didn't catch that, look at the description below. Now it's time to announce this week's Uproar winners. I nominated Rebecca Biggs for an Uproar Award. I was lucky to have Rebecca in American pop culture, and I have her in Two World Wars. She's an excellent student. Her work is top notch. She's a great partner, great collaborator. Uh, she works well with others. She's a great contributor to discussion. Uh, she participates daily, and overall, she makes the classroom a better place. I am pleased to be able to nominate Kayla Buran for an Uproar Award. I had Kayla in Software Applications Expert last semester, and Kayla is um, a self-motivated learner and takes responsibility for her learning. Congratulations to Kayla. Congrats to Rebecca and Kayla for representing FHS. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of the Saber Roar. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Tony. Have a great week, FHS. Rrr.